Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Half Dome in Yosemite Valley. I'm going to start over here on the left hand side, put one finger and put a dot about halfway. And I'm going to draw straight line down, finger, a little bit further down, straight line down, finger, a little bit further down, straight line down, finger, a little bit further down, straight line down, one more, if you have room, a little bit down, straight line. Now I come over on the right hand side, I take one finger about right here, put a dot, straight line down, put a dot, a little bit further down, straight line down. I come back to the left and I call this controlled scribble scrabble. So watch what I do. I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to just do curve line up in, curve line up in, curve line up over and now I come down. Curve line in, up, curve line in, up and off the page. I come back to the second one. Start at the bottom, curve line up and see how I'm filling in right next to the first one I drew, curve line, scribble, scrabble down, and off the page. I'm filling in the space with these scribble, scrabbles, controlled scribble, scrabble, because I want it to look like a forest. Curve line, up, down, curve line, off the page. Each time I do it, I bring the next line over so that it fills in the space so it looks dense. Curve line, up, down, okay? What I did on the left, I'm now going to come over and do on the right. Starting on the bottom on this one, I'm going to do curve line up, curve line up over, curve line down off the page. Starting on the right, I'm going to do it again. Curve line up, curve line over, curve line off the page. This frames is going to frame half dome. All right, now come over here on the left and we're going to start right at our tallest line right here and we're going to draw a curve line over, curve line down, curve line in, and a little curve line out, leave it floating. Right where we stop, we're going to take a curve line down off the page. Come back up here to this section right here and we're going to draw a curve line up, Curve line up, curve line in, keep going, go down, curve line over, curve line, and we crash into this line, jump over, curve line off the page. Come back to the top. We're going to draw a curve line down, curve line down, connect. And right about here, we're just going to draw a curve line down and leave it floating. Now, because it's Yosemite Valley, because we're drawing a mountain or a rock or greenery, all of this is organic, so it doesn't have to be exact. And the same thing goes for our clouds up here. We're just going to draw a curve line or wavy line, bring it down off the page, curve line, wavy line, bring it up connect and everybody's are going to be different because we all draw differently but we're all going to put this to fill up our background jump over to the right curve line curve line wavy line connect and now we'll do this one going off the page wavy line curve line off the page connect okay pretty simple like I said everybody's is going to look a little bit different but that's the general idea Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a gray crayon 
and I'm just going to do up, down, up, down. We're going to double color our half dome mountain rock. Up, down, up, down. Fill in the space. Doesn't have to be solid. Come in between your shrubbery. Up, down, up, down. Come up to the top. Now we're going to follow this line. Up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down up down up down so you want to give yourself some up down up down filler with your gray if you don't have gray you can use brown now I come in with purple and I do up down up down over the gray but just follow the top line that I drew like all this line now I come down and I follow this line up, down, up, down. This is just to give us a little bit of shading. Come over here and follow this line. So every place you have a black line, at the top, you're going to add a little bit of purple. Come up to the half dome. We're going to do the top part. Up, down, up, down. Follow your line. Up, down, up, down. Come back up to the top. Up, down, up, down. And that will give you your shading. Now some of you, if you want to see if you have enough purple, you might want to step back from your, pa uh, from your painting. This could be a painting. From your drawing and make sure that you've got enough color. Okay? Then, this is a pretty easy color thing. Um, I just took turquoise and filled in dark my sky because the sky is very brilliant blue if you see photographs of Yosemite Valley and Half Dome. It's really a beautiful spot. And we put in our turquoise blue. Leave your clouds alone. Bring it down. And then the last thing you're going to do is take your green and color in your landscaping. Now, you can do different color greens. You can put an emphasis on a different color blue. This is just what I chose. But you got to color all the way across and down. Fill in your spaces. Jump over and do this side. This almost frames your whole drawing, your, your greenery down here. Okay? So there you have Half Dome Yosemite Valley. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is Yosemite Valley with Half Dome all colored in. If you Google this, you'll get some really impressive images in photography and other artists have done representations of this too. It's a very famous spot. Okay, bye-bye.